हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्ञानेन्द्र सिंह आई एम अ कंसल्टिंग फिजिशियन एट न्यू हंसराज हॉस्पिटल अहमदाबाद आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग हियर सिंस लास्ट 15 इयर्स टुडे आई वुड बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाइपर टेंशन टुडे वी विल नो व्हाट इज हाई ब्लड प्रेशर एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट दिस हाई ब्लड प्रेशर एवरी वन जनरली वॉन्ट्स टू हैव अ नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर और अ हेल्दी ब्लड प्रेशर but here we are going to understand that how we can maintain a healthy or normal blood pressure what is blood pressure basically when heart pumps blood through the blood vessels the flowing blood exerts a pressure on the vessel wall and that pressure is called blood pressure normally in a healthy person the blood pressure remains in the normal range although it may increase or decrease transiently but remains mostly in the normal range but in people having hypertension the blood pressure for the most of the time remain out of the normal range or you can say it remains persistently higher side and that's why we stem those people having blood pressure above the normal range most of the time as patient of hypertension this high blood pressure usually develops over time and it can happen due to unhealthy lifestyle obesity increased intake of sodium rich food alcohol intake reduced in potassium intake lack of exercise and most important stress there are other risk factors also that can increase the risk of developing hypertension such as age as we grow older our arteries become stiff and this can lead to increase in blood pressure family history if a person is having family history of blood pressure it means either his parents or siblings are having high blood pressure there are chances that that person might develop hypertension in his life excess salt intake i as i as i already told is a very important risk factor for development of hypertension eating processed food is also a very important risk factor with the development and urbanization this problem is increasing another thing is lack of exercise obesity and most important as i already told is stress reacting to stress in unhealthy way not doing proper stress management can lead to hypertension and that may be persistently high so what is the problem with hypertension why it is so lethal in fact when a person develops hypertension he does not have any visible sign or symptoms that is why sometimes we called hypertension as silent killer people is unaware people are unaware that we are having hypertension so what comes next to know that a person is having hypertension or not having hypertension we must measure the blood pressure and to accurate diagnosis of hypertension we have to monitor the blood pressure frequently we have to measure the blood pressure so measuring the blood pressure is the only way to know that the person is having hypertension or not generally when disease becomes old long standing symptoms develop and what are these symptoms these are morning headache or tiredness vision changes buzzing in ears fatigue nausea or vomiting if a person is is uh, experiencing some of these symptoms we should measure his or her blood pressure and we should diagnose that he is having hypertension or not but the thing is the positive thing is that high blood pressure can be easily diagnosed it is usually measured with a instrument called sphygmomanometer our blood pressure can be easily measured by this instrument i told and it is very easily available cheap instrument and the blood pressure is recorded in two numbers one is systolic and one is diastolic now let us try understand what do these number actually means a healthy or normal blood pressure should be lower than 120 by 80 mm of mercury or it can also be read that it is 120 over 80 mm of mercury 
सो हियर वी कैन सी देर आर टू नंबर वन नंबर इज ऑफ हायर वैल्यू एंड अनदर नंबर इज ऑफ लोअर वैल्यू द नंबर विच इज ऑफ हायर वैल्यू इट मीन इन दिस एग्जाम्पल दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी इज द सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर वॉट इज दिस वेन हॉट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द ब्लड प्रेशर इज हायर नंबर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर एंड वन वेन हॉट रिलैक्सेज इट्स नॉट कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग दैट इज द लोअर नंबर दैट इज कॉल्ड डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर एंड इट शुड बी सिस्टोलिक शुड बी अराउंड वन ट्वेंटी डायस्टोलिक शुड बी अराउंड एटी इट शुड बी नॉर्मल बट वेन द ब्लड प्रेशर इंक्रीजेज टू एबव वन फोर्टी बाय नाइन्टी एंड इट रिमेन्स परसिस्टेंटली हाई देन वी कैन लेबल द पेशेंट इज हैविंग हाइपर टेंशन सो इन शॉर्ट इफ द ब्लड प्रेशर लेवल इज मोर देन वन फोर्टी बाई नाइन्टी मिलीमीटर ऑफ एच जी देन द पर्सन इज इज हैविंग हाइपर टेंशन इफ पर्सन हैव बी पी लेवल्स हायर देन दिस देन सी और माइट बी सी और ही माइट बी एट रिस्क ऑफ डेवलपिंग डिफरेंट कॉम्प्लिकेशन लाइक कार्डियोस्पर डिजीज किडनी डिजीज सी वी स्ट्रोक्स ब्लाइंडनेस एट्सेट्रा वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू मैंसन हियर दैट इन अ मीन टाइम देर इज अ ब्लड प्रेशर रेंज दैट इज बिटवीन वन ट्वेंटी बाई एटी टू वन फोर्टी बाई नाइन्टी एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड प्री हाइपर टेंशन दिस इज द स्टेज वेयर विथ लाइफ स्टाइल मोडिफिकेशन ओनली वी कैन रिवर्ट बैक टू नॉर्मो टेंसिव स्टेज सो हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट द रिस्क ऑफ डेवलपिंग हाइपर टेंशन डीज रिस्क कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड एंड रिड्यूस बाई वेरी सिंपल स्टेप्स लीडिंग टूवर्ड्स अ हेल्थियर लाइफ स्टाइल सच एज रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज हेल्दी डाइट क्यूटिंग स्मोकिंग एंड लिमिटिंग एल्कोहल इनटेक रेगुलर ब्लड प्रेशर मॉनिटरिंग प्रॉपर स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट एंड एडहरेंस टू द प्रिस्क्राइब मेडिकेशन a blood pressure is successfully controlled with such lifestyle modification then we might avoid or delay the onset of serious complications or we we might even avoid uh beginning of medications also so first of all we should look to these strategies which are the strategies which we can apply to prevent or delay the onset of hypertension or need of medication most important one is regular exercise or physical activity exercise is the drug free approach of managing early stage of hypertension regular exercise makes your heart stronger A strong heart can pump blood in a more efficient way and this ultimately will lead to reduction in blood pressure in other in other case as we all are aware that age and weight gain are the two major risk factors for high bp so if the blood pressure is desirable level that is less than 120 by 80 mm of mercury then exercise can prevent the development of frank hypertension most important thing is this regular exercise helps in maintaining a healthy weight so in my opinion everybody should have at least 30 minute of regular daily aerobic activity on most of the day of a week high blood pressure can be reduced by doing regular structured exercise such as brisk walking jogging swimming cycling etc now comes the importance of healthy diet diet also plays important role in controlling blood pressure a diet which is high in vegetables fruits and whole grains and low in salt processed food red meat etc can lead to reduction in blood pressure and what are the dietary patterns which we can follow which we can follow dash diet or mediterranean diet eating less less saturated fat eating plenty of potassium limiting the amount of sodium and processed food limiting the amount of alcohol consumption dash stands for dietary approach to stop hypertension diet and you will be shocked to know that uh, eating a dash diet itself which is rich in which is rich in grain fruits and vegetables low fat dairy products uh, one can reduce the blood pressure by 
अप टू एलेवन मिलीमीटर ऑफ मरकरी रिड्यूसिंग सोडियम इन योर डाइट इफ नेचुरल फूड कम्स विथ सोडियम नेचुरली नो नीड टू एड सोडियम इन फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल सॉल्ट इन द फूड वॉट एवर सोडियम वी नीड इट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द नेचर इन द ऑल नेचुरल फूड्स सो इवन अ स्मॉल रिडक्शन इन सोडियम इनटेक कैन इम्प्रूव द पर्सनल पर्सनस हेल्थ एंड रिड्यूस द ब्लड प्रेशर फॉर अप टू फाइव टू सिक्स मिलीमीटर ऑफ मरकरी सो टू डिक्रीज द सोडियम वॉट आर द टिप्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द ऑलवेज रीड द फूड लेवल्स वेन यू गो टू अ शॉपिंग मॉल और ग्रोसरी शॉप टू परचेज फूड यू शूड रीड कि वट इज द सोडियम कंटेंट ऑफ दैट प्रॉप दैट पर्टिकुलर फूड यू आर परचेजिंग एंड ट्राई टू परचेज फूड विच इज लो इन सोडियम कंटेंट कंटेंट ईट फीवर प्रोसेस्ड फूड एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड नेचुरल फूड हैज वेरी लेस सोडियम बट ड्यूरिंग प्रोसेसिंग द फूड वी एड सोडियम और द फूड मैन्युफैक्चरर्स एड सोडियम सो वी हैव टू लिमिट द यूज ऑफ प्रोसेस्ड फूड एंड डोंट एड सॉल्ट वाई डू ईट पीपल एड आर हैविंग हैबिट ऑफ एडिंग टेबल सॉल्ट दिस इज नॉट गुड वी शुड नॉट यूज दैट अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज क्विटिंग स्मोकिंग If you are not smoking, it's too good. It's fine. But if you are smoking, try to quit the smoking as early as possible, because quitting smoking will will increase your life expectancy, reduce your blood pressure, and you will feel very nicely. To how to know that our blood pressure is under control? You have to regularly monitor your blood pressure. Blood pressure usually we monitor at hospitals, but now we can. self monitoring of blood pressure is also equally important and very easily can it can be achieved very easily there are very good electronic devices available which can measure the blood pressure at home you can very easily measure this blood pressure at your home and you can pre- uh, prepare a chart and when you go to your doctor you can show that chart so the doctor can know that this is the time when you are you are in hypertensive range and this is time you are in normal tensive range or hypotensive range so the pattern will help the doctor to prescribe you proper food proper diet proper exercise or proper medication so self monitoring of hypertension or self monitoring of blood pressure is very important and in this self monitoring a people measures the blood pressure at different time of the day and as i have told you that this information will refine the treatment and the outcome will also improve now comes the stress management by learning how to relax everybody is in stress due to urbanization and westernization of our society so we have to reduce the stress we have to do the leisure activities we have to uh, do whatever you want we want like do exercise play some outdoor or indoor game listen to some music focus on something calm or peaceful or even meditation or yoga you can try and the last and most important thing is adherence to medication a medicine is prescribed to lower your blood pressure if your blood pressure is constantly high above 140 by 90 adherence to the medication is very important because if you abruptly stop the medication in between or you take suboptimal dosing doctor has prescribed to take morning and evening both time and you take only morning these things have deleterious effect on your blood pressure control and that can lead to very harmful effect for your life also so i would suggest that there is nothing more precious than having fit and healthy lifestyle adopting healthy lifestyle changing your dietary habits and if it, if needed with the help of medication you can live a normal healthy lifestyle with a normal blood pressure and you can prevent the onset of the complications i mentioned already cardiac disease stroke kidney problem eye problem blindness etc so here comes the importance of maintaining a normal and healthy blood pressure thanks a lot